In this video, we're going to talk about the order by which you should simplify a fraction, especially if the fraction doesn't look really easy to start out with. So we're going to simplify the numerator separate from the denominator. and simplify the denominator, you guessed it, separate from the numerator. And lastly, we're going to combine the two, the numerator and the denominator. Your denominator divides the numerator and you're done. So let's get started. Example 1 has this expression 2 times 4 to the third minus 4 times the quantity 32 all over 2 times negative 1 squared. And so we're going to attack the numerator first. Remember with PEMDAS, We're going to do parentheses first. Well, 32 can't be simplified, so we're moving on to exponents. So this um, 4 to the third, that's 4 times 4, which is 16, times 4, which is 64. So that 4 to the third becomes 64. And then we just move everything else back into place just like it was before. And I'm going to leave the denominator alone. It's there, and I'm going to fill it in here in just a second. But for now, I'm just leaving it alone. So we've looked at parentheses. That's done. We've looked at exponents. That's simplified. Multiplication and division in order from left to right. That means that we need to simplify this 2 times 64 and this negative 4 times 32. That's going to give me... 2 times 64 is 120, and then 2 times 4 is 8, so 128. And 4 times 32 is, well, we've got 4 times 30, which is 120, and 4 times 2, which is 8. So that's interesting. We've got a 0 in the numerator, but that's OK. We know how to handle that. So this is going to be 0 in the numerator. Well, I already know that any denominator with a numerator of 0 is going to give me 0, but I'm going to go ahead and finish the problem anyway. So let's go ahead and do our PEMDAS process again for the denominator. So parentheses has a negative 1 in it. We can't simplify that anymore. Exponents, yes, we have a negative 1 times a negative 1, which will give me a positive 1. So I have 2 times 1. So I'm done with the exponents. Multiplication and division in order from left to right gives me 2. And so I have 0 over 2, which equals 0. Now. Mind you, you could have stopped when you discovered that your numerator was 0, but I just want to show you the process in case it hadn't been that. Let's take a look at example 2. We're going to do PEMDAS again, starting with simplifying the numerator. I'm going to have 2 to the third. 2 times 2 is 4 times 2 is 8, so I have 8. Because I don't have any parentheses, I moved just on to exponents. And then 4 to the second is 16. So I have minus 16. So now I've done exponents, multiplication. There's no more multiplication or division. And now I'm working on addition and subtraction. So my 8 minus 16 is going to give me going to rewrite it down here actually 
is going to give me negative 8. And we'll worry about the denominator now. No parentheses. Next is exponents. We have 2 to the third, so that's going to be 8 again, and minus 10. So now we've gone from parentheses to exponents to multiplication and division, which didn't we didn't have. And now we're working on addition and subtraction. 8 minus 10 is negative 2. A negative divided by a negative is a positive. And so I have 8 over 2, which reduces to 4. And that's my final answer. Hopefully this helps you understand the process by which you simplify a fraction when it has an expression in both the numerator and denominator.